Hi everyone, my name is Fiona and I'm a composer, a pianist, and performer. And in this video, I'm going to show you some practical tips to kind of manage your bookkeeping skills if you're a freelance musician, performer, or composer. So my three main streams of income include teaching, performing, and composing. So my bookkeeping skills will be kind of guided towards someone that's doing those type of skills. So I have a binder like this that kind of keeps track of all my expenses and my income. So I have a page for the mileage and I usually use this page for like music festivals or workshops um, or uh, anything that I have to travel to that's usually longer distance like a composer residency or something like that. So I have a slot for the date, where did I travel to, how many miles was it, the toll, and then any extra notes. Then I have a tab for my teaching. So I teach piano and also composition. So here I have a slot for the date, the amount that the student paid me, the payment type, was it a check? I'll write the check number here or Venmo or PayPal, uh, number of lessons that they got in that less or in that payment, and then the client, so who hired me, and then mileage, that's if I have to travel to the student. And then I have a page for my performance income. So Last week I performed in San Francisco, so I wrote the date, the amount that I was paid, the payment type, was it via check or PayPal or Venmo, and this is just more for my own to keep track of my income, and then who hired me to perform, and then if there was any mileage uh, for that. Then I have a tab for composing, so if I'm hired for like a film gig or a commission, I write down the date, the amount that they paid me, the payment type, the client that hired me, and then mileage for that. And then I also have a tab for maintenance of skill. So this is like teachers that I studied with. I keep track of all those expenses because I can write that off for my taxes. So the date of the lesson, the amount that I paid them, who, which teacher I studied with, the mileage, and if there was any bridge toll. So I also have a filing cabinet that I keep all my receipts that I can write off at the end of the year. So you can kind of see I have a tab for advertising, so if I pay for any uh, flyering or uh, website uh, advertising, um, online advertising, um, I can write that off. Um, this is books, magazines, CDs, DVDs, anything related to my work. If I'm writing for a, um, a particular film, if they have me uh, wanting to read certain uh, books or magazines about the film or this could also be for like teaching just bettering my skill uh, business concerts so if I'm attending any concerts um, I definitely write those off business lunches so if I'm meeting up with someone a potential client uh, you can write off half of that of whatever you spent for for that meeting uh, the next tab is conventions, so if I go to like a music festival, music workshop, anything that's bettering my skills, um, I can write that off. If I go to Game Sound Con or GDC or um, you know any festivals, I can, I can write off my expenses there. Uh, education expenses, if I take a class, an online class, um, independent study, stuff like that. Uh, legal professional services, so if I hire like a tax person to kind of do my taxes for me, I can write that off. Um, if I see like a music uh, lawyer or something like that, I can also write that off if it's related to my business. Uh, parking and travel, I use that if I have a performance or something and I need to pay for parking, travel expenses if I need to fly anywhere, and parking can also be if I'm also uh, traveling to a student as well. I don't do that as much nowadays. Uh, performance clothing, I can write off clothing that I buy for a particular performance. Um, post office, this is if I'm mailing something um, either to a client, um, I can write it off here. Uh, Self-care, self-image, this one is more if like I'm getting a haircut right before I perform or getting a massage, something that kind of helps me maintain my public image. Um, then I have a folder for student awards. So when I have recitals, I usually like to give students, you know, things like roses and treats and stuff like that. So I can write that off. Studio supplies like my laptop, microphones, cables, 
uh, instruments, um, anything I use to make music, uh, sound libraries, and stuff like that software. And then teacher supplies, so, you know, um, pencils, paper, m sheet music, music books, anything like that. So there you have it. Those are some practical things that I do to kind of keep track of my bookkeeping as a performer, composer, and teacher. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. All right, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.